Hi there and welcome. Robots are interesting machines. It's a great hobby with endless possibilities. But it can be quite overwhelming if you want to get started with building your own. You might be worrying which programming language you need to learn and so on. Now, don't worry, it's not that complicated to get started at all. I'll help guide you in your journey to start designing and making your very own robots. First of all, we can divide robots into two different categories, autonomous and controlled. Autonomous robots are robots that can operate without actively controlling it. This means it functions on itself or at least part of it runs automatically. Examples are typical line follower robots which are designed to follow a line on the floor, purely automatic without user interference. This is opposed to a remote controlled robot, which has no intelligence. It simply does what the user commands it, by controlling its movements and actions. Robots can also be categorized in either mechanical or electric slash electronic. Mechanical robots are robots that are designed to perform a certain program by using a complex set of gears and mechanical systems. These were the earliest form of robots. Needless to say, those were limited in functionality and were incredibly complex and time-consuming to design. We won't go into those any further. Electric and electronic robots, however, is what we know as the most common robot type. They use electrical circuits and often a set of sensors as input and motors and other electrical output systems called actuators. But what is the difference between electric and electronic? Well, they overlap sometimes, but basically an electronic robot relies on sensors that detect something about its environment, converts that into a small electrical signal, which is being processed by an electronic circuit to create a certain output. The way this happens depends on how the circuit is designed and the component being used. We call this signal processing. A good example is a line follower robot. It can detect the black line in the environment and react according to what it sees at its input to keep it on track. An electrical robot, however, is more simple and raw. It doesn't use sensors in those forms. It may use a switch of some sort, but there is no signal processing. In short, we can conclude that an electrical robot has no form of intelligence and just relies on switching electrical power on and off. A good example is this obstacle avoider robot. When it bumps into something, it pushes two switches that reverses the polarity of the motors, causing the motors to run backward. When it bumps something again, it reverses back to its original position. Electrical robots are a great way to start learning the basics. It's simple to understand, requires minimum skill to build and doesn't need much materials. I have a few examples of simple electrical robots on my channel, which can be built in a few hours or less. Check out the description for more. Stay tuned to learn more about how to start with making robots. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.